Nathan here with the Bible Animated. For a quick update on the life of Christ, um, yesterday we worked on the script a whole bunch, um, and also downloaded this program you're looking at right in front of you. This, I don't want to say it's the perfect program to use, but it works. Um, as you may or may not know, we do want to put subtitles into the video of the life of Christ because we can translate subtitles into other languages if we can get anybody who speaks other languages fluently who will do the translating for us. Otherwise, we could use Google Translate, but I don't know how much I really trust that to do something like this. Um, but this is a little program here. It's called GNOME Subtitles. Um, this isn't really so much an in-depth overview of it. Uh, basically, you got a play pause button here, and you play. The video plays. You hit the plus button to create a new subtitle. I'm just doing like random text. Pause. Okay, so we have this new random text here. It gives us a start time, 38 seconds, and 784, and then it ends at 40, 284, um, which actually is ending after number 6, which would be near the end, not where we put it. Um, but you can adjust that using the front and the back. And this must just go to the entire length or something. I don't really know for sure. I haven't used that button yet. I only started using this about 15 minutes ago. Um, but it's really nice because we have translation so we can do a new. And then if I knew enough Spanish so I could translate this, I could do like, Hola! And of course I'd have to know how to make the upside down exclamation point in front. I'll just use the letter I. Hola! And then what's, you startled me a little bit. Um, usted, I have no idea what startled me would be. Un poquito. But, so you can do a translation, which is really sweet. And then translations we can save as. So like this one is TLLC subtitle underbar English. So we could have one for SP Spanish, FR French. You know, whatever languages people want to do. And then in VLC, I have the video already loaded. Subtitles, open file, English subfile. Or not subfile, oh, subtitle. Um, there we go. So it does that, and that's something that can be turned off. Which is really nice. So if there's somebody who's, say, hard of hearing, they can't hear it, or we just have bad quality audio. Whoops, I don't know what was going on there. Track 1 and track 2. I don't know how I have two tracks. One's probably the... I haven't saved the Spanish, so I don't know. But, so that will be on the DVD. So be looking forward to that. We will have subtitles. English for sure. I'm really, really hoping we can get, like, English, Spanish, French, German. You know, if you want to volunteer, let me know. Contact us. Um, you can find out how to contact you. I mean, you could send us a tweet, email to any of the emails you feel like at the BibleAnimated.com admin. You know, volunteer. You can look at our blog. Um, it's like www.blog.thebibleanimated.com, I believe it is. Um, and there's a contact form in there you can use. Um, but whatever, let us know because we really want to get this into as many languages as possible because who wouldn't want to be able to make one video and have it to a global community whether they speak English or not that would just be amazing so if you are fluent in other languages and you don't necessarily have to use Linux um, we could send you just all of this text you know all the text from right here you can translate it for us and then we'll go through all the work of putting it in as a translation we don't mind we just need someone who knows the other languages who's fluent who can type it out for us, and then we can put it in if you're not using Linux or you don't have access to this program for whatever reason. So if you are interested, please let us know. And hey, anybody who uh, does any translating here for the subtitles, we'll send you a free autographed DVD. So a little more uh, incentive to get involved and help us out here. So this is going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. God bless.